Well, hello there, everybody. This is Holly McWilliams with Indigo Arts, and here is another process drawing for you. Today, we're gonna to do a three-quarter view of a male face. Uh, I am using a charcoal pencil, and you can see to begin this drawing, I tend to always start off with some sort of very general basic shape. This gives me the height of where the face is gonna go on the page, the width of the face, the very general placement of where the eyes are gonna go, and basically helps me just map things out. At this stage, you can see that, you know, things don't tend to look really awesome. So a lot of people don't get a lot of instant gratification right away while doing this stage and tend to skip it. But in my opinion, this is the most important thing to make sure that you're doing when you're working with drawing or even painting. So once I have my basic shapes sort of mapped in, I'll spend a lot of time and energy in around the eye area and how that eye area relates to the nose. So I want to have the proper height and width of the eyes, the proper space in between the eyes. And once I have that a little bit more set, then I'll go down and start to form out where the nose is going to be. You can see that things are, are very sort of light pressured to start to map in this. And then once I get a little bit more secure with the placement of where things are going to go, I'll press a little harder on the pencil. And that's going to basically set things in stone. Because if you've ever tried to erase charcoal pencil, it just doesn't really work. <laughs> you can see that a lot of the stuff that I'm doing in through here too is based on value, so light and darkness, also known as shading. And um, I'm massing in a lot of these values and not using a lot of line work. So a lot of the shadow in and around the eye cavity goes right into the eyeball um, or the iris. And uh, it works out really well. And once I have the spacing between the eyes and the eyes set and start to form out the nose, then and only then will I start to address where the lips are gonna go. Um, chiseling out angles of the face with big broad lines is really important as well. I'm a big fan of this in my work too because I tend to like to use a lot of vignettes, which means that I don't do the drawing solid towards the edge of the page. I like to have some scribbly lines showing through, but the scribbly lines aren't messy because they all tend to go into the same sort of direction. And being right-handed, I'm quite comfortable with using a, I don't know, I'm thinking about a clock, maybe a 130 to 630 angle, or the opposite, I'll go from like a 1030 to maybe a 330 angle. And that just tends to work for me being right-handed. So once I have the eyes and the nose placed and I'm feeling really good and I start to get some darker values in there and setting things in stone, then I'll start to form out where the lips are gonna go. I'm constantly making vertical lines up towards the eyes and up towards the nose from the lips to make sure that I have the proper placement below these features. It's very important to always try to uh, think about where everything sits together when you're doing your drawings, just so you can try to get the right placement of things. Once I have the lips set in there a little bit more, then I'll come back in and start to form out more of the chin and the jawline. And all of this, as I said, is defined by different pressures of the charcoal pencil, which is giving me different types of values. Um, yeah, so I hope you enjoyed this little drawing. As I'm just finishing up and through the neck in here, this was a quick sketch. I think it maybe took me about 25 minutes. And here you go, a three-quarter view of a male face. Thank you for joining me.